the ball game with my father. Riding home from the ball game, a red junker barely runs. And Miami seems like days ago because of the frequent stops. One time under the hood, Dad was checking the radiator leak when water exploded from a loose cap. He was fine, but I couldn't help but laugh, which made him laugh, even though he stood on the shoulder of I-95 drenched from the waist up in his redskin shirt, now dark maroon with players from years past. It's dust just before we get home. I barely slept the night before, so I'm getting naps with the seat reclined back. Dad didn't say much on the way up, and we've stopped at a gas station to let the car cool down again. The Redskins lost that day. Dad looks at me, down in my brother's old jersey, and he finally says, the Redskins always lose when we go to see them. But I think to myself, nah, Dad, the Redskins just always lose. Hey, now, watch the DC. I'm a Redskins fan. <laughs> Six in the morning. Mom calls. I'm standing in the driveway. Her voice is dusty concrete. Your dad thinks I haven't showered in a month. But I know she showers in the morning when he sleeps. She wakes up at six every day. Yesterday when she got up, it was still dark, she says. I watched MTV. Remember how your brother and I used to dance? I remember nights I'd get home from work to find Shane with mom doing a swing on bare carpet, bare feet on carpet. She's spinning like a top. My brother moves around her like a sheet in the wind. And the music, she says, was well, Paul McCartney playing that song we used to dance to, remember? I don't know the song, but I imagine my mom yesterday morning in her beige nightgown, dancing barefoot at sunrise in the TV lit living room, eyes wet, closed, blowing kisses to his blue urn. He takes her hand, slowly and delicate as a sun which creeps on the floor through window blinds, puts his head to her hair, breathes in flowers and perfume, and let's go. Sure. The hills push up and grab the summer sun in Kentucky, where light grazes their peaks, leaving shadows in the depressions, like the round body of a baby laid out on the beach. I remember the beach, Florida summers with my family. I don't remember my family much. The waves were buildings collapsing on the shore and me growing up on the ocean. When I was old enough to swim, I fought the waves, pushing against them at the breaks, and they made me strong. But I did have a family, a mother and father and brother. And they are bright in the past like the sun on the sand. Sometimes I see their memory pass over their current faces. We're driving through the hills of Lexington. Mom's vodka peeks from the purse on the bumpy road, and I could be cruel when I see the bottle. But her face isn't mean, it's tired, like mine but sweating. She isn't cruel. And I despise her gaiety in the sweltering car, and the driveway is bright white when we pull up to my aunt's house. I'm reading in bed, and she knocks on the door. Her nightgown is white and patterned in lilacs, and she tells me she's had it rough, but she's trying. For a second, I see the flicker of my brother on her face, that look he used to have between words that said everything about what family means. It's a hard face with lines and dry hair and bags under the eyes. You can't help but love him even with all the faults he carries. When she leaves the room, I try to sleep and remember the times at the beach when the waves would knock me down over and over and over and over and over in his face. My brother finally comes into focus. That same look when he helps me out of the water and brings me back to mom and dad. Thanks, guys.